Hello guys! In this video, we're going to talk about how to make flashcards using Wisdolia. But before we begin, please hit that like button to show us your support and help our videos reach more people. Now let's get started. Do you know that there's an AI tool that can generate flashcards from a web page? Wisdolia is a downloadable Chrome extension. It can help you generate flashcards from any article or blog that you are viewing. This tool can help you improve retention and help you with your educational needs as well. Now go to the URL wisdolia.com. Click on the button Add to Chrome. You'll be redirected to Chrome's web store. Now click on the button Add to Chrome. And from this pop-up window, click Add Extension. From our browser, click on this icon and choose More Tools. Then look for Extensions. In this window, make sure that Wisdolia is enabled. Now let's look for a website, blog, or article that we can use to generate flashcards. Let's use this article. It's about content writing. On your Chrome extensions, access Wisdolia. First, we need to create an account on Wisdolia. Then allow Wisdolia to access your Google account. Now choose an option if you're a student, a teacher, a lifelong learner, a researcher, or others. Now let's choose an option. In this window, you can generate flashcards, upload PDF files, or view my saved cards. First, let's access the settings menu. You can enable this option to include the URL source when saving a card to Anki. You can also set up Anki here. If you don't have this app installed yet on your computer, click on this link. On this page, click Download. Then look for the latest version of Anki then run and install it on your computer. Now let's set up Anki to integrate it with Wisdolia. Follow these steps to successfully integrate Wisdolia with Anki. First, let's click this number, then open the Anki app. Under Tools, click Add-ons. From this section, click on the button Get Add-ons. And from this window, paste the code that we've copied here. Now click this button to use Wisdolia on Anki. Next, let's click on the config button. From these instructions, we need to look for this text in this config window. So we need to replace this to this new one. Now click this button and let's restart Anki. Then click on the button Test Anki Connection. Go back to the article where you want to create flashcards. Access with Dolia from the extensions. Click on the button Generate Flashcards. You can see the first generated flashcard in this window. It shows 1 of 20. So there are 20 flashcards generated here. You can view the answer as you reveal it using this button. By default, it shows a single view or you can change it as a list view. If you like a question, you can bookmark each flashcard question. Click this icon to bookmark the current flashcard. You can also save your flashcards to Anki. Now click Continue. As you can see, the deck shows one new card from Wisdolia. And this is the flashcard we've added. Click on Wisdolia, then click Study. You can see this question that we have bookmarked. You can even view the answer here. Going back to this page, select a flashcard and click on the pencil icon. You can edit the generated question and answer for each card. Just type in the additional question here. And below, type in the additional answer. Once you're finished, click Done. Now you can see the added text in your question in the flashcard. If you click on Reveal Answer, it also shows the edited answer. Next, click on Summary Highlights. You can copy this if you need a summary in bullet style for this article that you are reading. This list can help you retain and understand what this article is all about. If you want a new set of question and answers, click on the button Regenerate Flashcards. In this window, you can see the progress of generating new flashcards as the number of the total cards increases. Now let's browse this set of flashcards. This flashcard has the bookmark icon enabled. Click on it. Now it gives you an option to select a deck to save the flashcard to. From this drop-down list, you can choose if you want to save it as part of the default deck or with Dolia. Let's try to use this option. This card will be saved to Anki, or you can set it to this option 
to save all Aiden cards to Anki. Now click Yes, then save it. Go to the Anki app and you can see the new deck here. Click on My Saved Cards. You can view the different decks that you have bookmarked. If you have saved multiple cards from different website sources, you can click on this button and choose View Source. It will redirect you to the page where this card was taken from. So that's it for today's video. But before the video ends, here's something you shouldn't miss. If you need help to make courses and training, we have a marketing app that can help you create your own online courses that actually get sales. Create amazing courses with Udemy Great Customer Experience. It includes profit and conversion boosting plugins. It integrates a popular payment system. It even supports video courses on any platform. It has a rich interaction with built-in comments, reviews, and questions. Create awesome courses. It would be easy for you to set up, and your students will love the user-friendly experience. Access dozens of ready-made templates for everything. Customize your course themes to make it feel unique with your branding. So try Course Funnels now. Go to the URL getcoursefunnels.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.